What's up guys, we're back for another episode of Cowboy Bebop. In the last episode, we were introduced to a pretty powerful guy, Mad Pirate, who was capable of some pretty amazing things, even flying. I just hope that Spike does not have to confront another person like that again. Because the only reason Spike is still alive is because he was so lucky that the light glare went exactly on his eye when he threw the knife. But if it wasn't because of that, Spike would have been dead. All right, well, without further ado, let's get right into the episode. Strange story, and it's gonna be focused on Jet. Seek the sacred beast from Anzan. I am at the meeting place of the four gods. So Pao sent him that message. Feng Shui Masters? Well, what is that guy, Kung Fu Sensei? Well, Pao's dead, but. I wonder what he wants Jet to find. Who's that? His daughter? Oh crap, what's going on? Yo, what? poor Jet, man. He had no idea this was gonna happen. Wait, they're gonna be chased? Alright, clearly this girl is in some deep shit. Why? Did Pao tell her about Jet or something? <laughs> why are they just spying on them like that? Oh, that's why. <laughs> oh, it is his daughter. Oh, shit. Just an acquaintance? What? We need more explanation than that, Jet. Oh, so that's how he died? Oh, they have money to give guests food now? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, who else is it gonna be? <laughs> Great, now this, uh, this is awkward. <laughs> Yeah, maybe she knows something about that. Or maybe he knew he was... Something was gonna happen to him? A sunstone? <laughs> maybe these guys are after the sunstone as well, and they think that Pao had it? Yeah, and I'm kind of intrigued on what's going on. Thought they were supposed to go find the sunstone and stuff. They're out here sitting in a park eating ice cream. Hey, it's all philosophical stuff. Yeah, this seems like a religion. <laughs> Why is he trying to say that? <laughs> wow, Jet, you're you're making this weird. <laughs> oh my gosh, he ate that in like two bites. Now, what would Pal think to know that his friend is hooking up with his daughter like that? What kind of scavenger hunt is this? So those are the, the four gods? What? Oh no, they're being spied. <laughs> Why does she want that? Found what? How, how is that the sunstone? Ah, come on, they don't gotta be mean to little kids. <laughs> oh shit, Jet was ready for it. <laughs> Alright, talk now. 
It's probably because of that sunstone that they're looking for. Couldn't get pow? Oh. Did he just kill him <laughs> with his bare hands? Or maybe he faked his death because he knows, you know, those people chasing him. Yeah, that makes sense. That's why he sent uh, Jet the mail or he supposedly died. Alright, yeah, that's the stone. Ooh, a piece from the moon? <laughs> this is the worst place to be for a non-smoker. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's doing this for her, isn't he? He's really trying to get in, in them DMs, huh? <laughs> what? I know! <laughs> Wait, does this does the stone go like in the middle of that thing? Oh, it moves based on the energy from the sunstone. Oh, it's gonna guide them to him. True. Why did he send it to Jet? Jet did say that, that they hadn't talked in like a lot of years. Oh really? Even though Jet looks like 20 years older? <laughs> oh that's fine, let him believe what he wants. He probably had his reasons. It could be. If there are people trying to go after him and shoot him, then who knows what he was doing. Bulletin for Syndicate. Oh, so Ken knew about all of this. Yeah, once you're in these games, it's hard to leave. Yeah, that's gotta be it. He was just trying to protect his family. So it took them to the middle of nowhere? Oh wait, they detected something. Whoa! Well, they better be careful though. I mean, that was a pretty cool pink laser. It seemed dangerous. What the hell? What? Who the hell is chasing them? Oh crap, yo. Traveling through space seems dangerous. Horses trapped inside the stone? You're gonna try to use it as a weapon? Hey, wh why is she throwing it down the toilet? Oh, it's part of the plan? So they're gonna blow up the rock. Holy shit, that shit was a nuclear weapon! <laughs> Wait, did it just open a gate? It's blowing up anything that comes near it, so... Holy shit. Wait, there's a ship in there? Is that where the father is? Oh, he's right there. Are they going to be able to get him out of there? Ah, uh, so... He's going to die? Oh, he just wanted to see her one last time? Ah, oh, that thing is closing. That's what he wanted. Are these going to be his final words? Ah, oh, one last time.
Ah, uh, she's not gonna be able to finish her sentence. I'm sure her dad knew what he wanted to say. I mean, probably a good thing, right? She got to see her dad. She got to learn the truth. <laughs> yeah, we all know Jay only did that because the girl was there. Hey, well, good. <laughs> well, that was an interesting Jet episode, and we we did see that if the opportunity presents itself, he is willing to get a girlfriend. Cause uh, that scene in the park with the ice cream, yeah, he was acting strange. And again, we get to see that you know Jet is a pretty nice guy. He did go along to help Pao's daughter and try to find out what's going on with this this mystery. Also, in the episode with the chess master Hex, he was also super nice and preferred to save an old guy instead of ask for a lot of money. So yeah, plenty of times Jet has shown his soft side, even going as far as banning uh, smoking in the lounge area just for Pal's daughter. Alright, well anyways, that was a fun episode. I'll see you guys in the next one and I hope you guys stick around.